you spend a lot of time with Hazur. Uh, you're pretty much on every journey with Hazur, so close. So what, what are Hazur's expectations from us? What, ex uh, what, what does Hazur expect from uh, the Ahmadi, Mus uh, Ahmadi Muslims? I think uh, the best way to answer that question is to give Hazur's personal example. Last year, uh, there was a guest came from America and she sat with Hazur in Fazl Mosque in his office and she asked Hazur about his relationship growing up with Khalifa al Masih Saleh and Khalifa al Masih Rabeh. And I remember she asked Hazur that with Khalifa al Masih Rabeh you had, uh, I mean with both Khalifa, but with Khalifa al Masih Rabeh you had a very close family relationship and then suddenly he was elected Khalifa. So did that change your relationship? And I'll never forget Hazur's words. Hazur said that he had grown up with Khalifa al Masih Rabeh and there was a lot of family connection and warmth and love. But he said the moment he was elected Khalifa in 1982. Hazur said, my relationship with him changed forever. He said, any degree of frankness or uh, openness from my end ceased at that moment. And Hazur said that from that moment onwards, I made a pledge that I'm going to be the most loyal and obedient follower of Khalafat. In everything he says to me or to the Jamaat, I'm going to try my utmost to fulfill it. And uh, Time proves that he was loyal to that pledge and fully obedient to it that when the time came, then Allah Ta'ala chose Hazur as Khalifa al Masih Khamis. And just going back a little bit as well, the, uh, Hazur also spoke about his relationship with Khalifa al Masih Salis. And Hazur said, at that time I was a young student when uh, in the early years of Khalifa al Masih Salis's Khalafat. And then 1974 came and everybody knows that the Jamaat faced a lot of persecution and uh, we were declared uh, as uh, not Muslims for the law and purpose of the law and constitution in Pakistan. And there were a lot of riots in Pakistan. So at that time, Hazur was in university. And Hazur was advised by many people, including his close family members, that uh, he should not return to university. It's too dangerous. And so Hazur mentioned that even though all his, or many of his family were telling him to stay in Rabba, not to go back, Khalifa al Masih Salis came up to him or, uh, 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 communicated to him that he should not out of fear or due to the persecution withdraw and he should go back to university. And Hazur said that was the first lifelong lesson that he received from Khalafat. And certainly if you look at Hazur's personality and certainly something that I've over observed over time that no matter what the circumstances are and there's been some very fraught circumstances, difficult circumstances, Hazur receives troubling news regularly, but he always remains calm, courageous, and his trust in Allah is complete. He never fears, and he just turns towards Allah. And so I think that's what Hazur expects from us as well, that at all times, we must be obedient, loyal. If Hazur, uh, Khalifa al-Masih gives a direction, whether it's through an indication or whether it's direct, we must try our utmost and to our best of our abilities to practice that and live up to that. So I think that's the, uh, the best I can say.